Hey there! Today I'm going to show us how to create a mirror effect, simple mirror effect that looks like this. Stay with me! Alright, uh, we are back to CorelDRAW and I've created some illustrations here. I've um, created a simple jar with flowers, uh, with leaves actually, not flowers. Uh, I duplicated it and that's this too and I created a, a simple typography which is this graphics and I tweaked it a little bit here you know, to show something different okay actually this four objects the text and the job leaves are showing different types of a uh, mirroring okay this one is a path mirroring and this one is a full mirroring Right, you can actually use any way you like depending on what you are creating or what you want to depict. Okay, so now I'm going to show us how I created this, put the background and every other thing here is very simple. Okay, but I'm not going to show how to how I created uh, this jar of flour in this video. I can do it in another video if you like that. Please leave me a comment below so that I know and do that in, in earnest all right so let's get to it and start doing this mirror effect now i'm going to delete everything that is here except the flash and the graphics okay uh the typography and the job flaw i'm going to leave it there i'm going to delete the background i'm going to delete this one also so let's do that now click on delete click on the lid. Alright, we have a typography. Uh, you can actually see that this my graphics typography is actually still showing despite the white background. Alright, there's not uh, there's actually no background here, but it has a default white background here and it's still showing clearly. And you might be wondering how I did that. If you want to know how I did that, I'll also do it in those a video okay I'm not gonna do it in this video I'm actually going to refer you to the previous video I posted here on how to use the drop shadow tool okay so if you want to learn that go to that video and learn how to use the drop shadow tool alright so I'm going to remove all this mirroring that I did so we start everything afresh okay all right, we are left with uh, the typography and the jar of flowers. Let's get to it. So first of all, I'm going to start with our background and so that you see how I did it. Now uh, I select the rectangle tool and drag and draw a rectangle exactly like that. Let me shift it a little bit and bring this one up. All right, let's leave it there and bring this one's up a little bit okay uh <laughs> this is actually so lovely so realistic despite the white background that it has so i'm going to give this background a color a black color and overall oh sorry i didn't select it i selected give it a white background black background sorry in overall now i'm going to move the background to the back of a page and how do i do that i hold control and I can press page down when I once I press page down it keeps going back uh, to the amount of times I press it but if I want to move it automatically to the back I hold on control and press end on my keyboard now once I press end on my keyboard it moves it to the back and brings everything forward okay so I'm going to um, put a fountain field interactive fountain field to this background to get that view that I had before so I choose my interactive fountain field that is it you can click on G which is the hot key to get it immediately to make your work more efficient so I drag from here to here now this is not actually what I want so I'm going to change the field type to elliptical fountain field so one I, once I change that to elliptical fountain field um, going to adjust this place uh, okay like so uh, make it rounded a little bit and um, 
I'm going to add another uh, fuel color here. Okay, um, let's choose this one. Okay, then the last one I'm going to choose is this color. All right, good. Now I'm going to fix my page to screen right now. Okay, one something else that I want to do is um, I'm going to duplicate this background. All right, one side duplicate the background. Oh, okay. Uh, before I duplicate the background, you can actually start mirroring your object like this. Okay, so if you choose the object you want a mirror, let me choose these two objects uh, here. Uh, right select one, hold down on shift key, select the other, hold down on shift key, select any other one I want to do. Then I'm going to duplicate four of these objects. You can duplicate them one after the other, but uh, because of time, I want to duplicate everything at once. Now I hold down the control key and press D on my keyboard. It duplicates it. Now I'm going to flip it to the other side, that's mirroring to the vertical, and this is the key for that. All right. So once I press on this icon here, it mirrors it to the vertical. Okay, flips it upside down. All right now I have my other objects now I'm going to hold all of them and um, center it okay I'm going to group it in the first place um, let me group the first ones group it all right let me undo that let me group the jar of leaf first and then I group it you know I want to group the two only not the other ones okay if I group the two group it then I group press my F3 to move back a bit then group the next one okay then select the four objects and press C on my keyboard let me fix the screen again so that you see what I'm doing when I press C on my keyboard it centers both of them aligns them together then I'm going to shift the center B uh, so that it's a search. Okay, now I'm going to um, create a new rectangle. Okay, from here, I'm going to create a new rectangle, fit it here, and uh, raise it. Okay, let me zoom it here so that I there. So that is where I want it to be. I'm going to remove the outline then give it a color I'm going to give it this reddish color all right now if I do what I want to do right now you start seeing the mirror effect okay on this objects right now but first of all let's do this I'm going to delete this because I wanted to show you uh, that you can do the mirror effect without even putting that background that I, the extra background I added here so if I click on this, um, I'm going to ungroup it by Control U. When I do Control U, so I'm going to select one. Now I select one. Then I can click on my transparency tool and reduce the transparency. Okay. Once I reduce it, this is uh, one of the ways you can do a uh, full mirroring. Okay. Now you can see some flaws here. I'm actually seeing the extra leave that that are inside this jar which I don't want to see but I'm going to show you how to edit that so that you don't see it I'm going to show you later when I add the other background so you can do a full or you can do a half mirroring which is a search oh sorry I don't uh, select this because that's the one I want to affect all right I want to do a half mirror win. I'm going to raise this place up a little bit and as such. Okay, now I did a half mirror win and I did a full mirror win here. Okay, I think you get that. Okay, so I leave it on at 70. I'm going to do the same thing here. Choose back my two with the space bar key I'm going to do the same thing with this one sorry I have to choose it first 
zoom in here a little bit okay I want to do a full mirror with this one so I I don't want I didn't want to select that move it up a little bit like search and uh, toggle with this handle right here okay um, okay okay now I did a full mirror with this one I'm going to do select this and do a half mirror with it Uh, search zoom in a little bit so that um, I do uh, an equal selection okay um, it's not that equal but I think that will go reduce the opacity of such and okay uh, you understand what I'm doing here you have to have patience so you get what you want all right Okay, um, let me bring it down a little bit by like search. Okay, we have a um, mirroring all set. Okay, now um, the effect I did he made it look as if it's sitting on something like a table or something else. Okay, so that's why I added the other background so it looks that way. So I'm going to add it right now. Alright, zoom in uh, so that. I place it on the sector. Okay, I remove the outline. Now I'm going to add the what's it called? The reddish background to it. Now it's covering it. Okay, now I'm going to reduce the opacity again with the fountain. Oh, sorry, with the transparency tool. I'm going to make it, um, let's see, um, 70. Um, that might be too much, but it depends on. Your specification, you can do a 60 or to your test, anything you want to do to your test, you can do it. Now, it's already showing the effect here, okay, the mirroring effect, but I wanted to, I uh, want this background to be behind this mirroring, all right, so that they uh, stay in the front. So, I'm going to take this background back by hidden change. To my pick two, then hold on on control, do my page down. I don't want you to go to the back of every other thing, so I use my page down, click it until all right. That is it, no much differences, but uh, that is where we want it to be. So if I choose, I can choose whatever I want it. Now I'm going to reduce this, uh, the more. As such, all right, uh, that is it. So, I told you uh, I was gonna show you how to. Uh, why is it doing that thing? Okay, I told you I was going to show you how to edit this so that this sleeve won't be sticking out like it's uh, as I did the transparency sticking out, and you're seeing the leaf, you should you're not supposed to see it. So, what do we do right now? What we actually have to do is go back to my pick two, hidden space bar. You should always remember that. I choose the whole jar and flower. Uh, actually, it's grouped right now, so what I want to affect it won't happen. So I'm going to ungroup it with Control U. When I do that, now what I want to do is simplify this so that it trims out that extra layer, extra places that are sticking into this jar so what I do is go to simplify and click on simplify now I have a perfect mirroring of this object right here okay oh so now you can see I tweaked this uh, graphic a little bit uh, it's actually the same typography but I just did some little thing to it and oh well I can still show you as a bonus how I did it all right, let me do it in this video. Well, how I did it is very simple. I actually collected this um, set code that I created here with the graphics. Okay, uh, this actually is some of the ways you can use to create your logo. All right, uh, this is looking like a half moon. Right, I some people might use it to depict their 
company logo, right? Uh, a symbol, their yeah, company logo. I don't know. So I'm going to ungroup this. All right. To make it simpler for me, I'm going to remove the drop shadow, right? So you see how it looks like now without the drop shadow. Sorry, I did that. Um, so now I'm going to ungroup, Control U, then duplicate my ellipse. That's the circle. I duplicate it, then I reduce it a little bit so that it doesn't uh, overlap so much. Sorry. So how did I do it? I just came here, dropped it. Very simple. Um. Okay, center that. Then I selected everything. Once I selected everything, I hit my slim simplify. Once I hit my simplify, I remove this circle here. Bam. You can see that. Although this one enters uh, more than the one I just did. But you see how I did it. Now I'm going to do this one um, in some way. I kept them here. I can increase it. I'll leave it the way it is. Okay. Then do the same thing. Just it's very simple to do. Simplify it. Sorry. And you have it. Bam. Okay. <laughs> I know I carefully did this one. It's looking more lovely than what I'm doing right now. But because of the course uh, giving you making it fast so that you get what I mean. The circle is smaller than the one I used previously. So just the same thing is what you need to do when you get what you want. Simplify. Bam. Now I'm going to delete it. The circle, we don't have any need of it. Now you have the same thing I have here, right here. Now I make it more realistic. No, you go watch how to use the drop shadow too and come and try this thing out. You know, it's looking so lovely and I love the way it's bringing it out. Okay, so go watch how to use the drop shadow too in the previous video. Alright, if you like this video and it really helped you out. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell notification button for subsequent videos that will be posting your way and giving you cool stuff and cool things to design with. See you in the next video.